Hi guys, I'm Nathan and welcome to English with Language Trip. While there's nothing wrong with using I know and I understand, there are other ways to say it to make it sound better. Get your notebooks ready and let's learn some new expressions. Everything's in English. All you need to know. Alright, how did you learn to speak English? I see where you're coming from. If you say to someone, you see where they are coming from, that means that you understand why that person has a particular opinion. For example, I see where you're coming from, but it's still not going to work because there is not enough time. I can see where he's coming from. I hear what you say, British, or I hear what you're saying. This is used for telling someone that you understand their opinion, especially when you disagree with it. For example, I hear what you're saying, but I don't think it's up to me to decide. Oh, I hear what you're saying. Or you can just say, I hear you. For example, she expects me to spend time with her every day. I hear you. Maybe you can explain to her how busy you are. I hear you gives the person the feeling that you're really trying to understand their situation. I hear you. I get it. I got it. Native English speakers usually use I get it to mean that they understand. They also sometimes add now. I get it now. You get it now. I get it now. We all get it now. Yay! The way it's going to sound depends a lot on your tone. Imagine you're having an argument with your girlfriend and she's like, okay, I get it now. This would sound like she wants you to stop talking. But if someone is sharing information with you and they reply, I get it now. This would simply mean that you understood what the person was talking about. Oh, I get it, I get it, I get it. I know what you mean. It is used for telling someone that you understand their situation because you have had a similar experience. For example, he's so hard to talk to. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Of course, this is another way to reply when someone is explaining something to you and you understand what they're saying and you agree with them. I've been working a lot lately. I need a break. Of course. Of course. <laughs> if you want to lose your accent, feel more confident and sound like a native speaker, join our intensive course and we will teach you all that in just 14 lessons. You can check out the program on our website. The link and the promo code are in the description box. I see. This one is used for showing that you are paying attention to what someone is saying and that you understand it. For example, you're showing someone how to make a signature dessert and you say, make sure you blend it well before you add the sugar. And then your friend says, I see, meaning that they understood. I see. I am well aware. To be aware of something means that you are knowledgeable about a particular subject or issue. For example, I am aware of the risk involved. I am well aware. Good. I realize that simply means that you understand it clearly. For example, you're standing on my foot. Sorry, I didn't realize that. I realize that. I heard or I've heard. If you have heard of something, it means you have some knowledge about it. For example, I got a new job. I heard. Congratulations. I've heard. I totally get it. Use this one when you completely understand something. For example, I've read this chapter three times. I totally get it. I totally get it. Gotcha. Gotcha. Tommy gotcha. Tomagotchi. Remember those? Tomagotchi? Tom Tomagotchis. That's what they were, right? Tomagotchis. Those little things that used to like, came like in about this big and it was like a little, and then it died after like two days. So many lost Neopets. Neopets? That's not even a thing. So many lost Tomagotchis. Neopets was a totally different thing. Don't get me on that. Gotcha is the same as got you, in a sense of I understand. It's informal, so you can use it with friends or family. For example, hey, don't do that again. Gotcha. Gotcha. That makes sense. Use this one when something has a clear meaning. For example, she is supposed to start a new job after the holidays. That makes sense. That makes sense. That's it for today's lesson. I hope you've learned some new expressions. Make sure to check out some other videos and subscribe to the channel. We're here every week with a fun new lesson. See you next time.